She's a beaut though. Oh yeah. We can do the backyard and then we can cut like right here. And Pick it back up? Yeah. I'm gonna take a quick shot right here. They're gonna be like, why'd you get so much exterior footage? You're gonna be like, just wait till you see. <laughs> yeah, have you watched it? There's more going on outside than inside. Honestly. Like half of inside is outside. Just fucking burn it, brother. Alright, interior, rolling hot, baby. We need one take. How we do it? I almost, almost slipped. Yeah. We'll go over there first, sun, sun, sun. Yeah. It's really small, yeah. I'm gonna go this way. Yeah, we're gonna fucking nail it in. Is it gone? Yeah, I don't know. It is. <laughs> Got stuff right there. Imagine how this place looks when it snows. Oh, dude. With everything being open. Fucked. You mean beautiful? <laughs> Winter Wonderland? Did you say beautiful? <laughs> Presumably, actually, actually, yeah, just presumably the next. We didn't need the uh, lockbox code for this one. Yeah, <laughs> I could have. To be honest with you, I didn't even see a lockbox. So there's that. When I come back to this room, I'll show the ceiling and the window. Yeah, on the way out. I'll leave it as a surprise. This room I really need the light for because you can't see. All sorts of fucks from top to bottom. Yeah. Tilt up a little bit. Hey Jeff, come here for <laughs> I don't think they wanted that in the video. <laughs> Oh well. How else can you show that the window's gone? I mean, take a look down here. I don't think it made it any worse. Yeah, that's true. Dude's gonna see the video and be like, Oh, you threw a gallon of blah 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 yeah, out in my back, in see my, my backyard. The backyard there, guy? Yikes. Alright, let's go. Might be one of the most rapey basements I've seen in quite a while. All right, so here's your utilities. Fully set up with no problems. There's part of the uh, foundation on the ground. Well, good news is it comes with a brand new furnace. Once yeah, after you pay for it. it. This is uh, one of the few rooms with windows. <laughs> and vinyls. I'm not going in the needle room. Oh no, fuck no. There's too many obstacles in here. Yeah, here you go, internet. There's needles there. As you guys can see, the uh, garage is in great shape. It's ready to go. Moving ready. Get our little house shot. I'm gonna walk up. I'll get some photos. Roll. Behind us. It's rolling, 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 rolling. I'll come back through and get the other wall. Nice. Alright, you can come out of there. Okay. I'm saying I just can wait right here. That's cool. You get that last, so.
so much shit in this fucking shithole house. You know, some of my best tenants are crackheads. Some of my worst tenants are crackheads. I'm not going in the needle room. Oh, no. Fuck no. There's too many obstacles in here. Yeah, here you go, internet. There's needles there. Basement to the basement to the sweat drips down my balls. <clears throat> oh, fucking hey. 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 Yes, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm That one's getting on the video. Like, dude, you could lose a lot of money, right? Like, at Holton Wise, you know, we're out here in the Cleveland market, and, dude, you know, people are picking up properties for pennies on the dollar compared to what they're buying them for out where they live, right? Like, we get a lot of people from California, but, dude... If you don't know what you're getting into, like for every investor that works with us, uh, for us to help them buy properties, we also have investors who reach out to us who they already have properties and it's not working for them and they want us to take over the investment for them to stabilize them uh, or just sell the investment because they're done, right? You get like soccer moms from Sacramento, California and their husband's an engineer and they've never been to a neighborhood uh, where the houses sell for less than $800,000. So they have no idea uh, what it's like. They have no idea that you have to tell your maintenance crew, hey, don't just stick your hand blindly on top of door jams or in cabinets so you don't get poked with a fucking needle, right? That, that kind of shit doesn't register to them. They don't understand that that's the kind of stuff you gotta do. They don't understand that if they fly into the Cleveland market, you know, from beautiful suburbia in California, that it would be a poor decision to tour some of these neighborhoods without a freaking loaded pistol on their side because they're probably gonna get robbed or worse. You know what I'm saying? Like they've never really uh, experienced freaking trap houses uh, on the street, right? So it's about helping those people too, man. It's about teaching those people like, hey, there are no shortcuts. It, it, it's not magic. Like, yeah, buku bucks can be made, but you better prepare yourself and you better have the right expectations set uh, or you absolutely will lose money because you can lose money and I've seen a lot of people lose money, right? You know, in fact, uh, what you call it? The majority of the evictions uh, that you guys see that we do, that's another comment we get that fucking starts to get annoying after a while. You get all these motherfuckers like, what's up with Holden Wise? They must be the worst landlords in the world if they're evicting all these people. Well, number one, it's a $75 million real estate portfolio, pal. So when you got $75 million worth of real estate in a place like Cleveland where houses can be bought for like 30, 40 grand, that's a lot of fucking properties. It's a numbers game, right? Talk to Walmart. How many upset customers do they have? Talk to AT&T. How many upset customers do they have? So just by the number, sure scale, you're going to get your complaints, number one. But number two, uh, the majority of the evictions you guys see and the majority of the, the really bad stuff that you guys see us dealing with, it's because... Somebody didn't do the right due diligence and, and got in and over their head and had a really hard time managing the investment, running the investment, because it is hard. It is not just free, easy mailbox money. And they contacted us to either help them take over their existing investment and we got to go in and we got to clean up the problems that they created, evict the bad motherfuckers, get good motherfuckers in there, or... They're just so over it and they're so done with the stress and the, and the trauma and, and, and just the, the bullshit that they're just like, hey, Holton Wise, this is where we're at. This is our property. This is what's going on. Just get rid of it. Like, get it away from our lives. It is 
not worth the stress that this particular property is putting on our lives. And, and we take over properties that way, right? So like, you know, the properties where we actually screen the tenants and, and place the tenants into these properties, the eviction rate is like a tenth uh, of what you see on tenants that we inherit through one of those two scenarios. And it's because we run 100% no-nonsense business. We professionally screen everybody. We do not give deviations. We have standards. We stick to them. We never deviate from them. It is a no deviation, no nonsense policy, right? So like, you can give us any stop story in the world. If you don't check all the boxes, you don't get the fucking apartment. That's how it works. That's why we don't evict a lot of people. And anybody who doesn't pay rent, we don't deal with any stop stories. 100% of them get evicted. And close to 100% of those that get evicted are probably going to end up on Holton Wise TV at some point. So that in and of itself is also a pretty big deterrent, right? Because what we found... It is the biggest thing with like evictions, right? It, it's tenants that don't believe the landlord is actually gonna go through court and actually kick them out. Like they have this like weird block in their head where they're like, nah, he said he's gonna evict me, but he's just bluffing. He's really not actually gonna throw everything I own in the street. And, and they believe that, right? And that's what leads them to fuck around, right? Uh, you know, fuck around and find out though, bro. When you work with Holton Wise, you go into it knowing if I fuck around, these motherfuckers, not only are they going to evict me guaranteed, they're going to stick a fucking camera in my face and, and broadcast it to the world. So if you're out there and you're like, oh, how could you do that? I, that's mean. That's horrible. Well, number one, they're stealing, so fuck them. Number two, you don't think that's a huge deterrent? Knowing that if you fuck around, you are guaranteed to get thrown out. And also highly probable to have it broadcast all over the world, have it live out there on the internet, possibly end up with over a million views of people watching you be a complete fucking scumbag. I mean, that that really limits the amount of evictions, right? So anytime we get a tenant that we inherited that isn't aware of who Holton Wise is, you know, their odds of giving us more trouble than, than people that we've either screened or that, that know who we are, know what we're going to do, uh, much higher that they'll be a problem. The people that we screen, that we put in these properties, even in some of the rougher neighborhoods, we work with a lot of the government housing uh, programs and things of that nature. We actually really do uh, have have few problems. Our problems are actually pretty few and far in between, right? Obviously, when you're watching the Tenants from Hell show, right, this is the, the number one show on Holden Wise TV. This is the show that gets the majority of the views. It's just like the news. If it bleeds, it leads. So, of course, people are, you know, kind of in like an echo chamber of seeing the bad stuff, seeing the rough stuff, because, you know, that's what's circulated, and that's what gets the click-through ratio, and that's what, you know, engages people to watch. They always want to see the worst of the worst. So, it's, it's not all doom and gloom, folks. I know uh, sometimes when I'm talking or doing these shows and I'm showing you the bad stuff, you know, some of you guys are like, fuck, man, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't invest in real estate. And I'm glad that some of you think that because honestly, I work with thousands of investors from all over the country. Uh, some of you should absolutely not invest in real estate. Investing in real estate is not for everybody. And getting the word out there, getting the true life experiences out there, Making sure the people that shouldn't be in the business stay out of the business before they have to spend all of their money and it gets really ugly for them. That That's very important to me because this business is absolutely not for everyone. I would like to get the messaging out there to those uh, who, who should not be investing in real estate. I'd like to get that message out to them early and often before they have to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars or lose hundreds of thousands of dollars getting into something because they saw some fancy guy on the internet saying it was easy. Uh, so I, I want to get that message out there, of course, and I do want to keep those people from losing money, but also I don't want people to think that it's all bad because, again, it's not. You see a lot of the bad stuff, and if you start watching the bad stuff, you know, these websites and uh, algorithms, they'll just keep shooting you more and more of what you watch so you end up in like an echo chamber just continued negativity right that's why facebook and twitter based on their algorithms are just such fucking cluster fucks of negativity uh so you know 
it ain't all bad, man. It ain't all bad. If, if you get your systems in place and you scale up and you, you, you put in the work and you work with the right team and, and you do things by the book in the right way, dude, you'll make millions. The sky's the limit. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.